Hey guys, so we're gonna start the vlog off. We're gonna do a little workout at night vlog. It is 10.20. We had a photo shoot, we shot some content, and then we did a live show. And now we're gonna hit the gym. I am tired, but we're still gonna make it. So, I have my gallon here. Cute little ass of the heart. And I'm gonna take my pre-workout. I personally take Prolific by PE Science. This is my favorite pre-workout. This flavor is Melon Berry Twist. We're gonna get into it and I'm gonna get some energy so I can have a good workout. And then my assistant is filming right now and he was in the live show too. And we're both gonna take some pre. He does a different, different type of pre than me. I like to dry scoop it. Straight to the brain. That's how she does it. So, mm, sour. Ooh! It's the most sour it's ever been. <laughs> mm. All right, that's my pre. All right, tonight we're doing back. I use the same pre-workout that Sydney does, except uh, I change it up a little bit. I add in the high volume by the PE science. And I usually don't do this unless I had a lot of water that day because uh, you need a lot of hydration to make it work. But I was very good on my water today, so that'll do good for us. And then up next, I have the True Creatine by PE Science. Five grams before your workout. I feel like it makes a huge difference. And I am crazy, so I do the two scoops of the prolific pre-workout, which is the recommended dose, but... I only take one. Sydney only takes one. I'm an addict. So I do two. Yeah, you, how, you had a monster day, and then Dutch a Dutch Bros, Bros and now you're having this. And I, I'm literally, this is like my first real whole thing of caffeine. And then a scoop of creatine, and then I'm gonna do two scoops. If there's any left. We have another thing of it. Yeah. I think there's two in this. And then two scoops of the high volume. Like I said, I usually don't take it unless I had a lot of water that day. Um, because it kind of like uses water to kind of manipulate your pump a little bit. From what I've noticed. But I was good today. So that's what we're going to be rolling with. Sydney's water, of course. Stolen. Tastes better. <laughs> And that is what I do before a heavy back day. All right, so then Kyle's outfit, are you gonna show it off? Mm -hmm. Today for back, we got the Dark Sport. I think this is from their second newest drop, but I really like it. The graphics are nice. It fits super, super nice. I love everything like baggier, except my shorts, of course. Um, also Dark Sport. And these are our compression under. And then just short shorts on. And top. you're wearing an XL top. I think this is an XL. And, and then their bottoms are medium, but medium we should have yeah. gotten you a large in those. We should have got a large, yeah. The outside fits nice, but the compression's a little a little tight. So if you got big quads, don't know what to tell you. And then your shoes? Air Forces. Dirty as hell as always. And Bear. And bear, bear is making a appearance. Hey Bear. He likes licking sweat off of legs, so. Thanks, Bear. Oh, and, and chip. The chip came in. All right, and so for my outfit, I have my hair tie that I'm gonna tie my hair up with eventually. This is just the slip, it's a silk hair tie, better for your hair. Then I have a Buff Bunny lavender color top. This is one of my favorite tops. It's a built-in sports bra, so I don't have to wear a bra underneath, which is so convenient for working out. Then I am wearing these flare yoga pants. These are from this brand, Etch or whatever. I'm not, not a pro, I don't know how to say it. X. Yeah, I don't know. It, <laughs> has, it has a zipper here, which is cool. Yeah. But I never use it. I love your butt zipper. Yeah, and then these Tacones are my life. The classic so, fit. Yeah, that's my fit, you guys. All right, so we are at the gym and we're going to hit the workout. We are hitting back, and I don't think we've figured out what exercises we're going to do yet, but usually we do cardio and then. <laughs> By the time it's done, we know what we're gonna do. And it's also like super late at night. It's 11.04 right now. So when we do actually make it into the gym, there's no one there, so everything's available. 
All right, well, I forgot my gallon, so the assistant gave me his, because I do not like gym water. But now it is Stairmaster time. All right, so jumping into the workout, I start off with Stairmaster. When I'm on the Stairmaster, I just do 10 minutes to warm up, get the blood flowing. Usually two minutes in, the jacket comes off, but um, I keep a really slow pace, but I try really hard to just get my glutes pumped, feel my legs, you know, get break a sweat, and then I stretch. When I'm stretching, I just do a few different things like child's pose. I do different stretches that I learned in high school PE that I don't know the name of, and I foam roll. So you can see me do that here. All right, so we're actually gonna start the lift with the back day now. So first thing we're gonna start with is lat pull downs. The assistant is assisting. He's getting the weights ready for me. I start with 55 pounds. You can do whatever you want to start off and then I work my way up a little bit higher. Uh, everyone does different weights, just depends on what you're comfortable with. Um, I start at 55 and then work my way up to usually 85 that today I only made it to like 70. So I'm doing lat pull downs here. I'm using one of my favorite grip bars and you can just see that I go slow and controlled. The goal is to have good form. So focus on having good form. Enjoy watching us do this exercise and I'll be back to show you the next one. All right, so this next one is low rows. This one is a new exercise for me. This was actually the first time I tried it. It was so good. It actually hits a different part of your lats. It hits like the lower part and it just, it feels so good. It's a bit harder if you're big chested like me, well endowed, but you can see the way that I did it versus the way that the assistant did it. There's two different ways to do it. Uh, he put like this pad to make it so that then he was standing versus sitting. So there's two ways to try it. Um, I just put on 25 plates and then he put 
345s on his so uh you can tell that there's all different types of ways to do it and as long as you're feeling it and you have that mind muscle connection that's what counts All right, this next one is one of my personal favorites. This is Dumbbell Bent Over Rows. I love this, it feels so good. I don't know what about this exercise makes me love it, but if you haven't done it, you have to try it. And then the assistant did his own version of Bent Over Rows, and this was with a barbell with plates, and peep the property of Fit Sid weightlifting belt. Doesn't it look so sick? And then last but not least, I ended the workout with pullovers. These ones feel so good. I love these. I don't know what it is about these, but they just feel, they just feel good. I don't, I don't know. You have to try them if you haven't. They hit the lats just like everything else in this workout. It was all a back workout and I hope that you enjoyed. All right, you guys, so I finished my workout. It was a really good back session. Yesterday, I hit shoulders, so my upper body is pretty toast. Shoulders, back, donezo. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna hit upper body, or I'm gonna hit legs, lower body, because my upper body needs a little bit of a break. But uh, back workout complete, it was really great. And my assistant, AKA trainer, kicked my booty. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.